Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Little cheeky little like uh, foot birthday market talk. Just talking about the market today on foot. There wasn't a lot going on uh, on Monday, but I want to kind of talk you guys through what happened the past couple, tw you know, 24 hours ish, and just kind of talk about how I feel the market is, stuff you can do right now in this game, what everybody else is doing in this game, and uh, some of the stuff that we were actually just able to sell today and make some profit on that I bought yesterday. Um, in the weekend league sell-off some of this stuff is already rebounding uh, and then you know some overnight flips and a couple of lazy buyers as well This cool Bali was sold yesterday. I think at 117 But this is this is like a 10k lazy right here in this Ter Stegen. I got that for 91k sold it for 107 as on like the first listing I was pretty hyped about that, but um, Some of the stuff that was getting panic sold yesterday, and this is the majority of what I want to talk about today uh, some of the stuff that was getting panic sold has rebounded very, very nicely. Uh, case in point, Federico Valverde. Last night on stream, I was pleading with you guys. I, this guy was 600,000 coins flat on the PlayStation 4. I said, clear him. There was like three or four of them on the market. I told the guys in the chat, I said, go buy this card. If you see it under 620, buy it tonight because it will not be at that price later this week. And again, this today he's been 670, 680,000 coins basically all day so that's a nice flip right there especially for my guys that got them at 600k i got two of them uh sold them at 677 and 680 i was not expecting him to rise that much already uh, but this is a very rare card uh it's real madrid and uh of course if people are playing with that new gareth bale on the right wing they might be linking him to valverde as a nice nice little um real madrid link up situation with the new foot birthday bale so i do think uh, that is maybe part of the reason why this card went up today. But again, rarity was huge for this one. Another guy that I have a bunch of on my transfer list that I shouted yesterday was Jonathan Ikone, the future stars. This is a very popular um, center attacking mid that is French in the league on. This guy last night was under 230,000 coins. He's now 255 and still rising, man. The French nationality, stuff that was French today, really really did well because of all the links and th that's kind of you know what people are doing right now in this game is they're grinding the objectives midweek there's really not much to do so they're either trying to get some packs or they're grinding the objectives and i think a lot of people are grinding for this bakioka which i'm going to try to do myself at some point it is a bit of a grind so you're probably seeing a lot of people right now uh with some french players and division rivals with league one and some uh yeah french players for sure because you do have to get some uh, wins with those and get some specific challenges done with those types of players. But there are a ton of people in foot going after this card. This is a very good midfielder. I played him multiple times in this weekend league, um, and he was very, very good. Some people are playing him and comparing him to Vieira. So if you're not somebody that, if you're on the fence about getting this card, if you have the time to do it, I would highly recommend going and doing it because that is a very, very um, end game, in my opinion, end game CDM or center back. So that's a very good card there. Speaking of weekend league, I actually played almost all 30 games this weekend and it came out being one of my best weekends ever running with this squad. Um, I did end up getting gold one. So I played all my games. I went hard. I went at it and I did get gold one out of my player picks. Um, I got 84 rated Santi Cazorla from the 10 win player pick and I got future stars Holland. Uh, not future stars. I got 87 inform Holland uh, from the. Uh, oh, I say, I'm saying that incorrectly. Somebody taught me how to say this before. It's Holland, right? Holland, Holland. That's how you say it. Erling Holland, uh, the 87 rated inform version of his card. So uh, cool card. Wasn't really worth it. I'm probably not going to use him that much. But first owner for Bundesliga uh, objectives. If I need to, that's a GG on that one. So again, today was kind of characteristic on the market. Today was characterized by the lack of content. So cards that were meta, cards that were needed um, for those objectives like that, um, like the Ikone and just cards that are, you know, rare and hyped uh, kind of rebounded today because when there's nothing else to do in the game, people buy cards and they go and complete things on the game. Kind of an update on the foot birthday prices. These guys are kind of all over the place because that Douglas Coast that was on my transfer list, I bought him at 550,000 coins um, Sunday night, right before I went to bed after squad battle rewards. Um, and he went up to 600K. He had a pretty nice fluctuation 
from right here he was at 550k i got a snipe there he went up to 600k this morning which was his peak and then went back down during the midday it's 575 right now so um but for the rest of these cards d maria some of the top tier cards took a big hit in price today this guy was like 1.1 million almost all day on sunday except for the evening and he is down a ton in price lacazette is a million coins flat um he's dropped a bunch on xbox i do know that for sure 875 a lot of these guys have dropped um i guess it's just due to, to people being done with the weekend league uh, and maybe us underestimating how much supply these cards actually have but the cost is 200k flat um bail is 17 pogba is 2.8 and i'm pretty sure on xbox i saw him at like 2.3 or 2.4 2.3 million coins on xbox wow what a drop off in these past few days man pogba was 3.2 mil on saturday on uh on the xbox 3.4 on on the playstation and they're both down uh you know five six hundred thousand coins in just about a day even yesterday from sunday they're down like 500 600k so i do think this is returning and these cards are returning to a more realistic price range uh the optimal buy time for these cards we probably have not seen that yet um but always take note this is something to always take note of when we have a promo team that is out how many games played does douglas costa have 7700 games played that's got to be number one out of this group. Lamar yesterday when we checked this was number two. Wow. Lamar with 8,000 games played. Um, a left mid that is French. Again, French is king in this promo. Uh, so this is one way that I kind of determine how I invest in cards out of packs if I'm going to do that. Teo Hernandez has been pretty resilient in price too. 400,000 coins. He, he hasn't dropped that much from 500 to 400 in uh, from Saturday till today. He's maintaining a pretty solid price, so I kind of like that. Um, but that's one way that I kind of gauge the demand for cards. How many does Di Maria have? Di Maria's got almost 5,000. That's not bad. Um, da Costa has almost 5,000 as well. So um, that's kind of how I gauge some of the demand for some of the new promo cards. And I do this with Team of the Weeks all the time. Continue to monitor that, monitor that over these next few days. Is there anything else that could hurt the foot birthday um, prices and make them drop even more. If we get more big SBCs right now, again, SBC fodder is through the roof, crazy high in price. Uh, today we got like the foot 17 SBC, which I think was kind of a letdown, uh, a jumbo premium gold pack. That's a 15 K pack. And you have to build a squad around, I think this is Martial, right? Left mid French Manchester United. Yeah. That's basically amount around Martial and it's, not a very good pack so that was a bit of a bummer of an sbc today um that we that we did see come out i would expect more content today on well tuesday i would expect content on tuesday wednesday because this was supposed to be a champions league week again so i would expect a little bit more maybe a throwback uefa marquee matchups maybe a champions league sbc for some sort of pack and then i do think you might see some more supply come onto this game for some of these uh, new foot birthday players that are in packs right now at the moment, like this Thomas Lamar at 140-ish K. Um, I'm, again, I'm kind of interested in this card. A lot of games played, man. I think it's just the nationality and that he's so cheap. Uh, and then with the four-star, four-star, five-star, and he's pretty fast. It's just a solid card. So um, I think that's why you're seeing a lot of games played on him. But I do think these cards could drop a little bit lower, especially with some pack supply. If it's a good pack and if there's multiple tradable good packs that we get um, from the UEFA stuff today, if they do end up releasing that, of course, they don't have to. EA doesn't have to release that, uh, but I think they will. I think they'll release some of those packs because they have before in the canceled game weeks for what were supposed to be Champions League. Um, so just watch out for that today. These cards might drop a little bit more. But again, for most of the full birthdays, I'm going to be kind of eyeing those as a buy time, maybe on Wednesday or Thursday, depending on what happens uh, with rewards. There's going to be a lot of people that have rewards this week because a ton of people like me actually played foot champs to get those extra player picks. Um, and that's going to mean a lot more packs open this weekend. And could they drop another guaranteed or like could they actually add a specific guaranteed foot birthday SBC to the code? I think it's still very possible because high rated SBC fodder is still through the roof. Today, the prices didn't change that much. Um, the fodder prices are still through the roof. They're crazy, crazy high. They've come down some, um, but they're still really, really high. So 
Um, I would kind of monitor these as they're dropping down. Still right now, at the moment, the other content that we got today, and I'm going to talk about this too, actually relates to league SBCs. If you're somebody who uh, wants to do something on this game right now, EA dropped these packs today. Premium silver players and premium bronze player pack. It's basically like a 25k pack. It's all players, um, but it's for bronzes and for silvers. So some people have been saying, and I don't know if this is actually like a good value pack to open, like a bronze pack. I mean, it's 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 a lot more expensive than a bronze pack. It's you know four or five, almost five times the price of a regular bronze pack. But um, you do get all players. So. What this is going to do is it's going to supply the bronze and the silver players that are on this game that are needed for League SBCs, which a lot of people are doing right now. And that makes me want to check on Footbin if the League SBC prices have actually dropped. So let's go take a look at this really quick. Um, I want to see if League SBCs have actually gotten cheaper today because of this. Let's look at um, what which one would use a lot. Let's look at like Air Divisi because Air Divisi probably uses a lot of bronzes. It doesn't look too expensive. 143 on the PlayStation. Uh, you know, it's it's not really hasn't been affected that much. Let's check like La Liga or something too. Maybe the Prem. Let's check the Prem. Because there are some Prem squads in here that have a lot of silvers in them. The Prem is, you know, kind of around the same price. So maybe just people aren't opening those packs as much. Um, but that is some supply coming onto the game for some of those gold or not no gold. Some of the silver and some of the bronze players and if you're somebody who is doing league sbcs right now i mean there is not much of a better time in fifa to do league sbcs and if you're somebody that even wants to stack the packs you could be stacking up the club if the if you see bronzes and silvers are getting cheap you could stock the club and prepare for maybe team of the season down the line where you want to do a lot of these packs and uh maybe like i don't know people always talk about paderborn silvers right i think that's bundesliga um, like Paderborn silvers are really expensive. There's some other silver cards in this game that are super duper expensive. Maybe they have a little bit of supply right now and they're, they're lower. Um, and maybe you want to, you know, that could be almost an investment possibly. You have to, I don't, I don't do a ton of stuff with like league SBC trading or trading with the silvers and stuff. Um, I don't do a lot of that, but I know that there are a lot of people grinding league SBCs right now, because if basically, if you get anything that's a walkout, um, you're making your money back. A lot of the packs, if, if you look at a league SBC, um, it costs 8K, 10K, 12K, maybe at the most 15, 16,000 coins to complete some of the league SBCs outside of some of the, outside of some of the, you know, super rare ones. But like, let's say you get a, a pretty average 86 rated walkout. Thomas Muller, he's like 24,000 coins still, I think, right? How much is Thomas Muller? 20, 24, 25K. Uh, for just an, an 86 rated card that that's one card that pays for the entirety of most of the SBCs and then some of what you're doing. So if you hit a walkout, even if you hit some of the 85s, like what is Onana? He's well, that's probably not gonna be a good one to search because he's got the lower rated card, but um, even like Gulashi, right? One of the cheapest 85 rated cards. He's still 10k. Not quite 10k. Okay, he's dropped down a little bit, but um, you know, some of these cards are inflated from what they usually are. Like this guy's sometimes around six, five, six thousand coins, and now he's 8k. So, if especially if you're hitting the walkouts, like if you hit an 88, 89 rated player, some of those guys are still stupid high in price. Chiellini is is still inflated uh, because you need chemistry for the for the birthday pack SBC. How much is Chiellini? Chiellini's 60k still. So, boom, you pack yourself a Chiellini instead of usually getting 45k, or you know. Uh, a price in that range, you're getting 60,000 coins. So pack luck might not be that good on the league SBC packs, but you have a chance of packing foot birthdays and you have a chance at packing um, some some high rated SBC fodder that is really, really high in price right now. So that's kind of my market talk video for today, boys. There's not a ton going on. If you're trying to trade, there's actually going to be a second channel upload, uh, not second channel. What am I? I'm like a major YouTuber or something. No, no, no. We're just chilling over here, boys. Uh, there is a second upload, not a second channel upload. A second upload going up on the channel today, kind of looking through some 100K to uh, 1 million um, investments and, and trading methods that you can make. 
so catch uh keep your eyes out for that video too it's not really any new methods it's just methods that are still working right now that some people need to hear again some people need to be you know hear that again and kind of make it click in their mind and say yo i can actually go out and make some coins with this but if you still have some of the cards that you bought a weekly sell off don't be in a hurry to sell them because this market's going to continue rising throughout the week this week uh the only thing that would stop that is if ea would drop down a big time sbc uh, and would maybe put something out that is um, repeatable as well. Because a repeatable SBC, those are the ones that really, you know, kick the market down because people continue to put the cards into it and continue to submit untradeable items into those SBCs. Now, one last note. I know this video is kind of shorter, but I want to make one last note. Some of the rebound on Foot Birthday Set 1 after the panic has been unbelievable. Mbappe, 5.1 mil. Griezmann, 167. St. Maximum's almost 1.5 million coins. These guys have exploded. The really, really meta ones, the ones that people want to use, have exploded um, out of packs and after that party bag SBC as well. If we do get a guaranteed foot birthday SBC that's put in the code that comes out later this week, that will be your, your, your next chance to get a buy time on some of these cards. I don't know if that's going to happen. I kind of hope it does. Uh, EA, you could suck a lot of coins off the market if you wanted to do that. To do that, Just saying. But um, these cards have really, really rebounded. They've really exploded. A lot of them have. Um, even Hernandez was 250K on Sunday before the SBC. He's 288. Hazard was like 13 flat. Mooney was 139. Um, Cancelo was 185. So some of these guys have... Re even Dejene. This guy was like 45K. Now he's up to 53 not a bad rise. So um, you can tell that these are just the hype players right now in foot. And I do think these guys are going to rise out of packs. So set two, we are going to be looking at possibly buying a few cards and letting them rise out of packs just as long as we don't have another promo on Friday. So we'll kind of look into that too. But um, we'll possibly look into some of the set two foot birthday cards as an out of packs investment. We'll talk more about that later in the week. This week so if you enjoyed the market talk video today smash a thumbs up on it keep trading keep grinding open packs last chance to do 81 plus upgrades they end ea extended these today i tweeted that out this morning they actually extended these svcs a day so big ups for ea thank you for whatever reason i don't know if these will get refreshed today with like an 83 plus um that would be cool i also could see them doing the 80 plus player pick and then the 83 plus you know how they had two svcs this time i could see them doing that next time as well We'll just see what happens today with those. Um, if they do do that, those new upgrades wouldn't be out for very long because the foot birthday team is only in packs until Friday. So that's the Market Talk video again today. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.